It definitely built the chemistry. Um, either way, either way it went today, win or lose, it would have built the chemistry. Just getting the opportunity to be out there in crunch time minutes with one another and getting to learn like different guys' tendencies. Like, okay, does he want the ball here or where do people want the ball? You know, who is that defensive stopper that we that we're gonna call on? Hey, you're gonna guard the primary guy. Um, you know, I, I think no matter what, like I said, no matter what would have happened today, that moment would have helped that group just build more and more confidence. Like next time we're in the situation, we know how to handle it, you know? I completely agree with Xavier Tillman. Last night, the Boston Celtics barely, barely got a win over the Sacramento Kings. Almost blew another big lead. However, Xavier Tillman and the bench comes up with a massive stop at the end of the game, as well as a game-winning shot by Xavier Tillman, a game-winning floater, right? Now, everything he said in his interview um, in terms of, you know, building team chemistry, knowing where each other wants the ball, when they want the ball, but also knowing how to close out a game, play good defense, and get a stop to win the basketball game. Guys, I think this is massive. No, a lot of people, and by the way, I stream every single Celtics game on this channel, so if you guys want to watch these games live with me, you guys can just subscribe, join the family. It's easy, it's free. And, uh, you know, get notified every time we, we uh, go live for a game. But during the live stream, um, there was a lot of people saying, why aren't we putting in Jason? Why aren't we putting in Porzingis? Why aren't we putting in Drew Holiday? Well, if I'm being completely honest with you, there was a point in time where I was like, yeah, let's, let's put these guys back in. But at the end of the day, I understand why you don't. Now, we are heading into the playoffs. You know, we look like the best team in the NBA. But at the end of the day, if we have, you know, knock on wood an injury or if someone fouls out of the game who's gonna step up right you think about a pay and pressure you think about a sam hauser right stepping up off the bench or an al horford what if al horford gets fouled out what if pay and pritchard uh you know has to miss the rest of the game what if sam hauser has to miss the rest of the game you're gonna see an o'shaper set you're gonna see a sfi mikhail luke you're gonna see an xavier tillman right these guys need to get this playoff experience these guys need to get this in-game experience together and I thought last night they were able to do that. Although they didn't play great, at least they can go back and look at this film and be like, okay, we need to do that better. In that situation, Tillman, you need to be here, not there. Okay? So I think right away you look at that alone and think about, wow, okay, maybe this could be something big. Win or lose, we came home with the win. But even if we lost, I think that chemistry is still being, you know, built up. Now, in this video, we're going to break down some film from Xavier Tillman. We're going to break down some film from Chris Stapps Porzingis, and we're just going to talk about the Celtics, man. I'm excited. Make sure you guys join the family. Non-stop Celtics content from here, you know, forever. It's not going to end forever. We got you guys covered, so join the family, and let's get right into the video. Now, on this first play I want to show you guys, we've already seen this one, but I think Payton Pritchard does a really good job, but at the same time, I really love Xavier Tillman. I don't know if I said this already, but I think Xavier Tillman is a guy who, you know, when Al Horford retires, whether that's, you know, after this season, after next season, I don't know when it's going to be. But when he does, Xavier Tillman, with a little bit of development, could be his replacement, okay? Now, the one thing I noticed about Xavier Tillman since he has came to Boston, he's working on his three-point shot, okay? We've seen him take threes, haven't really gone in, right? Hit a couple, but not really too much. On this play specifically... They, you know, bring in the weak side defender, Keegan Murray, because quite frankly, they don't think Xavier Tillman can hit threes. I'm not saying he really can, but he, he can't, right? Not not consistent, but he's getting there. You can tell from the day he has joined this team, he's been working on his three-point shot. And the versatility is insane. The reason you don't see him playing too much right now is because you have Porzingis, because you have Al, but because he's not consistent from three. Once he is consistent from three, we are one of the most versatile teams in the NBA Three big men who can stretch the floor, get spread pick and rolls everywhere. I mean, dude, the potential of this team is still untapped, right? Not only do you have hit him hitting threes, but you have him coming up and making some big time plays on this one. Pump fakes a three. Now he's a threat. Now he's got a mismatch here on Davion Mitchell. And let's post up a little bit. Let's see what we can do in the post. So Tillman drives baseline. Now you're going to see rotation. You're going to see Trey Lyles. Try to cover that, boom. Now look at what Xavier Tillman does here. Spins, right, kicks out of the corner, and Pritchard's wide open for a three because he has a slower defender on him and Alex Len. This is beautiful, beautiful basketball by Tillman, right? You drive in, you you uh, you uh still understand, you have this mismatch here, right? Now Alex Len's ball watching, you you know get multiple hope defenders over here. Maybe he could have got the Tatum, but that is such a difficult pass. 
just turns, spins, land too late, easy money. Hey, I'm really starting to like Xavier Tillman a lot. And then you have the game winner. We're down by one with 12 seconds left to go in the game. Tillman at the three-point line, obviously, again, not the best three-point shooter in the world. Can hit him, boom, gets the ball, kind of in a loose ball scenario. Now, what do you do? What do you do in this scenario if you're Xavier Tillman? Obviously, you might want to kick it out to Payton Pritchard, but the confidence, the, the tenacity, and the belief in himself is great right here, right? Gets right by Keegan Murray, who is, you know, leaning too, too forward, gets right by him, and now you have an opportunity to win this game, or, again, you can still kick this out to Payton Pritchard for a wide open three, but still, having the belief in yourself is so much more, and it, it, it's so amazing, right? You talk about some of the best players in the NBA having that confidence in themselves, drains a floater, barely even touched the net, man. Barely even touched the net. Look at the shot. Nice little push floater. Gets it up there. You know, O'Shea was set back down there. A big time rebounder. Gets it to go. And then you talk about the defensive. I don't know if this is going to show it. But some great defense on the other end as well. Let me get it right. Let's go right here. So, boom. Let's watch this defensive possession. Maybe we won't watch too much Porzingis in this game. He played amazing. He always plays amazing. Porzingis is that guy. Uh, but look at this defense here by the Celtics, uh, you know, second unit here. Great defense there by O'Shea Brissett. Gets beat coming back up the floor. And now you've got De'Aaron Fox. You need to send multiple guys to him. I think Payton Pritchard does a really good job, you know, getting over, getting a body in front of him, forcing him to a fadeaway mid-range. This is the shot we want him to take. Boom. Throws it up. Tillman fighting with Sabonis, one of the best offensive rebounds, uh, rebounders in the game. Boom. Keegan Murray gets a second chance opportunity. Misses it. No good. I mean, they got a couple of opportunities, right? We still need to work on rebounding, but ultimately win this ball game. Beautiful win, uh, 61 and 16. And uh, Tillman is a big reason we won this game, man. I love it. I hope he continues to improve because I do think he has a bright future in Boston as long as he can get better. And then real quickly, we'll talk about Porzingis, man. The effect that Porzingis has on this basketball team is nothing I've ever seen before. Porzingis is easily the most important player on this basketball team, and I don't even think it's really close, right? His ability to set this high pick and roll, get a switch on a smaller defender, and there's absolutely destroy him, right? Gets right by him right away, great pass by Drew, and once you're in this position, you're not stopping Chris Stapps Porzingis. I mean, the versatility of Porzingis doesn't even make sense. Again, another high pick and roll, this time with Jason Tatum. You talk about his ability to just set a screen for anybody, it's amazing, right? Boom, set a screen. Now you got a double team off Tatum. Porzingis stays, you know, wide open at the three. This is something you're going to see a lot, especially in the playoffs. Because Jason Tatum, because Jalen Brown are such big scoring threats with an ISO, right? You never want them to get a mismatch onto, you know, a, a defender that they can just drive right by. In this, in this case scenario, Sabonis has no chance of guarding Tatum. So they're going to send two over the screen, leaving Tate or leaving Porzingis wide open. The versatility is insane. He can pick and pop. He can pick and roll. He can set ghost screens. He can, you know, he can play as the, the, the ball handler in a pick and roll situation with Jason Tatum as your screener. He can do anything you want him to do. Pass. Porzingis is so, so important to this basketball team. And we need to keep him healthy. Another thing I love about us right now, guys, it seems like every day, seems like every game, we are playing down two starters and still winning basketball games. Think about that for a second. There's games, for example, this one. And uh, I, I do want to give uh, a big credit out to the Kings. This was a must-win game for them. They needed to win this game. I mean, they are fighting, fighting, fighting uh, for a big playoff spot. They still couldn't do it. No Jalen, no Derek White. Selick still won. Guys, deepest team in basketball maybe that might be something that we can label ourselves with but again man got to give a lot of credit also love drew holiday look at this pass here over to xavier xavier tillman one of the most unselfish guys in the nba on our team kicks it out makes the extra pass porzingis to tatum tatum wide open three guys the ball movement for the celtics has been off the charts nice little pump fake sidestep three over davion mitchell pretty much wide open no good, but again, the tenacity of Xavier Tillman, hustle, gets the rebound, spins, looking for another open man, back over to Porzingis, who's still wide open, puts up a three, I mean, man, I love this basketball team, I don't think I've ever seen a better basketball team out of Boston, maybe that 08 team was a little bit better, but man, this team is, they're deep, 
They're versatile. They're dynamic in every aspect. And if they hit a little bit of a stride during the playoffs, man, good luck. It's going to be tough to beat them. Guys, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Join the family. Just wanted a quick little update. Not too deep. Not in, too, uh, in, in depth. But let me know. Join the family. We'll be live for the next one in a couple of days from now. Um, and I'll see you guys then. Peace.